From Wrestling's Hills and Faces, the Zombie Sailor Toys take on the WWF Hasbro line. This is Slick, one of the best managers from the 80s. Uh, this is actually the exclusive run, the one of 1250. So usually he's going to come in a blue suit. I got the gray suit because, uh, well, it became available sooner. And also I like the gray. Here on the back, you can see you got all the figures from the line so far. There's that blue slick I was just talking about. You had the blueprints from Ron Rudant, the guy who actually did the designs, not just for this figure, but also for a lot of the Hasbro figures back in the day. Then down here, slick, height, six foot four. I did not realize slick was that tall. Jesus, okay. Weight, 198 pounds. He was from Fort Worth, Texas. Cool, clever, and as sneaky as they come, the slickster aims to fatten his pockets by guiding his clientele of ruthless rustlers to the top. The self-proclaimed Doctor of Style sports the most flashy, custom-made suits that money can buy. And fun fact, Slick is a great singer. In case you don't know, he did his own theme song, which was Jive Soul Bro, which isn't terrible. I mean, it kind of is, but it's so terrible, it actually goes back around to being kind of awesome again. In any case, this might not be the most interesting seeming figure in the world, but it's another iconic manager. We've been needing these for the Hasbro line, and it's not that horrible Mattel suit mold that we get all the time. So I'm looking forward just to have a unique feeling figure of a very unique character. Getting Slick out of the box, and I like this so much. Uh, a thing about Zombie Sailor, they do have a unique style. You won't find many Hasbro style figures that look like these because they kind of go for more if the Hasbros were made today. So the figures typically have better lightnesses. They're a little bit more realistic in proportion, but they are still so, so good. So just looking at Slick here, you have, of course, his great looking head sculpt. I adore this likeness to Slick. Alongside that, the gray suit. The blue suit would be nice, but I do like this gray suit a lot. Again, of course, it came out sooner. But also, the gray suit is just by itself a good look for Slick. Here's what I didn't realize, though. Look really close. I'm trying to see if it comes up on camera. Let me zoom in just a bit. You see these streaks in the arms? That's not a paint defect. They very lightly painted in and sculpted in the thread of his jacket. That's the thread of his jacket. You see it throughout the entire thing. They literally did a crosshatch to give you the friggin' stitching. That is the amount of detail that Zombie Sailor puts into these figures. Alongside that, look at this. His ring is on his finger. This is just amazing. I adore all these little details, because think about this, right? You could have given us just a flat gray suit. You could have given us just a, you know, shiny gray suit, but you gave us a gray suit that actually has the texture of the pattern. If that doesn't speak to, like, Zombie Sailor's, like, quality and Ron Redon's just absolute amazing design work, I don't know what does. We, of course, also have articulation. You have a swivel at the head. The hat, ooh. Well, I was going to say the hat doesn't come off. It just did. Um, a swivel at the arm and a swivel at the waist. So, yeah, that takes nothing. It doesn't look like there's glue in there. Hmm. I mean, you put it on... It hangs on there pretty well. But of course, that's not meant to happen. Look, they didn't sculpt anything below the hat. Hmm. So, I will say that. That's a bit weird. But the hat hangs on there tightly enough. And I could always just glue it down. I don't know if that's a common issue. I don't know if that's a widespread issue. But I guess that is a thing to know about. Is the hat might not be super secure on your slick. We'll have to wait and see if this is the case. It's the first time I've heard of any QC issue from Zombie Sailor on a widespread release. And then again, this was a convention exclusive, so it could have been, maybe, it was just the gray suit slicks that have this. In any case, it doesn't ruin the figure. Far from it. It's just a thing to acknowledge. And here's Slick alongside One Man Gang, both Zombie Sailor toy figures. And alongside that, of course, One Man Gang's manager was Slick. And Slick was the one to tell One Man Gang about how to become Akeem the African Dream. I adore how these two look together. Absolutely perfect. Exactly what I'd want from this pair. And in case you were curious, here he is alongside Big Boss Man, Anakin the African Dream, Series 1 from the Vintage Hasbro line. I think he fits him better than most Zombie Sailor toy figures, but a thing I always say about the Wrestling Heels and Faces line, right? I adore them. I love them. They don't really match with the Vintage Hasbros, and I don't think they're supposed to. 
These guys have their own art style. They're cartoony, they're beautiful, I love them. But Zombie Sailor always has gone for a little bit more realism in their approach to sculpting, to likenesses, to everything. So with all that said, I can handle the fact that Slick doesn't perfectly match Big Boss Man and Akeem, but it's close enough to work if you would like to keep these three together. After all, you gotta remember, this was the team that helped break apart the Mega Powers. Also, I just want to point this out because I kind of got distracted by the hat. If you're curious, yes, Slick also rotates at the wrist, so he does have a bit more articulation than the old Hasbro's used to. Nowhere near as much as you got from some of the other Zombie Sailor toy figures. I'm looking up at, uh, like, Bruiser Brody and his elbow joint, but still, really, really, really nice figure that you can get so many great poses out of. I just want to make this clear. I love this Slick. The hat was a bit of a surprise. I'm hoping that when the blue suit comes out, the general release of Slick, that problem would be fixed. And in all honesty, I might be tempted to double dip. I've always loved Slick. He is one of my favorite managers ever, and I'm so happy to finally have a figure of him that's not just the LJM. This figure looks great, it feels great, it is great. The hat, bit of a problem but it's nowhere near as bad as I think some people might make it out to be, assuming that it even is a widespread issue. I, I don't know why, but there is a little bit of hate that goes Zombie Sailor's way because these figures are so different and don't really go with the Hasbros, but I always have and always will adore them. I think they are some of the best toys coming out today. I'm excited for every single figure that comes out, so much so that I'll even pick up people who I may not have all that much connection or interest in because I want to fill out my zombie sailor collection almost as much I want to fill out fill out my proper Hasbro collection. Case in point, whoever would have thought that I'd be interested in a Todd Pettingill?